large on top, splendid decorated with marble and mosaics and statues. That's the main entrance for the officials, for the gladiators, for the music players. Then you see the meadow, left side, a meadow. There are in Roman times 26 rows of seats, stone seats. So space for about 18,000 spectators. One of the largest amphitheaters north of the Alps. And in the middle, the arena, the word arena comes from the Greek word arena with H on the beginning. So that means a sand. In the middle is a sand arena. There the famous gladiator context took place. Amphitheater, these are two Greek words. You see a lot of comes from the Greek, Greek time. Yes, Greek words, amphi means from both sides. Theater, where you can see something. So in the arena. The people can see something from both sides. So are sitting around the arena, that means a word. What they see is, yes, gladiator contest. Or, yes, maybe also in the morning they start such a day in the amphitheater starts in the morning with animal games, animals against animals, lions, leopards, tigers against elephants, bears, donkeys. The next is a hunt, hunters against animals. Then executions took place, for example, hunters without weapons against panthers. That's more executions, mostly prisoners, uh, prisoners which were condemned to death and to fight in the arena. And then also the gladiator contest took place in the afternoon. Prisoners of the war, when they are strong, solid man, like Sasha, he would become a good gladiator. <laughs> then he was decided to become a gladiator. And then he came to a gladiator school. There they were trained, like sportsmen. And when they are good fighters, then they come to the arena to fight. It is not necessary to win a fight to survive. Only one gladiator of 10 died in the arena. The others survived. They had to, to do good, interesting fight. When they win a fight, they get money, they get a clean start, they can become free men. But at the other side, it is so. They had not to win a fight to survive. That's our parking place here. <laughs> That's our parking spot. <laughs> dich einfach dahinter stellen und dann, so dass der D-Bus noch dazwischen passt, stell dich hinter den Fahrt durch bis zu dem Blauen da. Da kann der D-Bus noch hinter uns, ja. die anderen können dann davor. Ja. So, we let a little space for the gentle walkers behind us, but here we drop off the bus for about... Basilica. You see a building oh. with a green roof yeah. and behind the green roof there's a large basilica. Two square towers to our side, one square tower to the other side. The Basilica of St. in the city. So we know when it, that is a cemetery. That uh, a few years ago they wanted to renew the courtyard in the uh, large basilica. There's an abbey in the, in the vicinity and they opened the ground and there they found thousands of the coverties three four layers of the coverties underneath this uh, courtyard so they close the guy they can directly <laughs> from cologne over trier to metz and then through france to spain this basilica is one station on this camino uh, camino yes and from there the roman city stretch up you see the Amphitheater here in front of us that mentioned I in the bottoms. Um, there is a real seat that's normal. The stone seats, uh, there is exists an official document from the 12th century 
where the bishop allowed a monastery from the Eiffel that he only allowed the black roofs with a slate. These uh, slate, thin sl tiles of slate, are very durable, long-lasting. Such a roof, for example, by the cathedral is made with this slate. We have a, a special trademark here. The Mosel slate is a very good, high quality. It comes from the mountains. You go to Kochum, and north of the Kochum, there is a small city, Mayen, and there they uh, have uh, the quarries for the slate. And 150 years without any problem. And very long lasting, uh, good material. Therefore, the black coloration mostly on the roofs. At this side, the mountains were called Grundstück and the Mosel divided here these two to the bus and I can show you a little bit what I Dry, half dry, medium, that depends on uh, you, what you like, uh, different sorts of quality, so you have the chance to drink a lot and taste a lot of wine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Mosel. Yes, the housing areas, when you look in the surrounding, are running up the hills in the city center. We have not enough space for all the people who are living here. I said 115,000 inhabitants, including our students. We have a large university here at the right hand side. Okay, it's on the Kreis of Oh, it's a That's what I can't understand. I'm going to make it. Being here in the city, the largest garrison out of Paris. And here on the top of the hill, we are the place for the military facilities. So this building was in former time a tank repair station, <laughs> therefore the name. The last garrison was closed 1999, then the French left the city, and then they transformed these former military areas in housing areas. This one here on the spot on the hill is a very modern one, modern housing area. Yes, for the city, the most expensive one in the moment. Also here we have the, uh, the topic that a lot of Luxembourgish people bought houses here in this area or built houses because it is much cheaper than to build it here in, than in Luxembourg. The prices are about the half of that what it costs in Luxembourg. And that means at the other side we have a lot of commuters daily, 45,000 commuters daily to Luxembourg, from the region here, from Germany to Luxembourg. A nice view over the city again here, from the side. Is there a train that goes there? Is that how yes, we have train line to Luxembourg, but it's only to Luxembourg city, not on Kirchberg, that's a problem. And oh, okay. to Luxembourg city. And then at the other side also a bus line to Kirchberg, so to the financial center, to the center of the mm -hmm. European Union. Therefore, the Luxembourgish people had built the tram, because then the people can go with, by train to Luxembourg, to the train station, and then with the tram to all the other spots where they are working. That's why the Luxembourgish built the tram, and uh, you have seen it yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then it will run when it is finished between the airport, Kirchberg, and city center and train station. Then it will run a little bit easier. In the moment, we have the situation that when you go from Trier to Luxembourg in the morning or in the afternoon, we have traffic jam. Yes, the people are standing one hour in, in the, on the highway until they are then in Luxembourg. Yeah, that is what I mean. The street is a little bit tricky when in the early in the morning it's not so busy, but when our cars, our smaller cars are coming, 
then they had to mostly to move backwards when we are coming with the big buses. Yes, we will see again the amphitheater of the right side. It has come when you come around the curve. And uh, so the amphitheater is one of the important spots here in the city. First century AD and then um, very quick, quick, quick replaced by a stones construction that what we see nowadays. And look to the right side, you see then two vaulted passages that are the exits to the city side. The space between, that's a place which is reserved for the very important person, so for the officials, for the emperors, when they were the, the games, they are coming mostly in the afternoon when the gladiator contests were held. And then they have the sun in the back so that they had a good view to that what happened in the arena. Maybe it is also a good idea to sit directly near the exits when such lines or leopards also jump, are jumping over the projecting wall it is better to sit near the exit <laughs> yeah such a, a day in the amphitheater it's very important in the roman salon and um, when the people are sitting in the amphitheater and uh, visiting the games, they forgot the normal problems of their life. And that's the same when we have nowadays, um, yes, yeah, football championship for four weeks, nothing happened. All the people are only looking football or <laughs> soccer. And that's the same in Roman times. Uh, there it starts, it begins, uh, that games were held for the public, so that they forgot the problems. When we have modern building sites here in the city, we have all the time the same problem. The whole city center lay under protection of historical monuments. And when you see here at the right side, a very modern building erected in the last two years, and the first to come to such a building site nowadays is normally the director of the museum. And he say normally, stop, let's see what is underneath, and then they escape, uh, excavate the Middle Ages, and then what is underneath, then the Roman times. And it depends a little bit on that, what they found, what they do uh, with this building site. Sometimes building works stopped one, two, hour, uh, one, two years, and uh, otherwise only took a few months. Yes, here we see again the windows of the caldarium. They were covered with a glass construction. Right side, the towers, that are the place where the boilers stood, the copper, copper boilers or the iron boilers to heat up the water. A part of the medieval city wall, you see there the watchtowers and then the meadow, that's the palestra, the sports ground of Roman times where we see the hatch and the remaining wall. That's a place where we have the large reception hall in Roman times. It stretched from the other side of the street, over the street to there where we have the hatch, a large reception, a westwall hall, where the people invited welcome there, splendid, decorated. And then they come to the palestra, there they make sports and exercises, given and uh, yes, wrestling matches and ball games and all this. And then they enter the bathing areas. Hinter dem Zebrastreifen geht's rechts rein, da ist ein großer Parkplatz und da steigen wir aus und dann verlassen wir dich. Okay. Und wir sehen uns nicht mehr wieder. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 that's not possible. Dann wir fahren ein Stück weiter, da vorne an die Bushaltestelle. Okay. So the parking spot is closed today, so we drop off here by the library. That will also work. We don't come back to the spot, so take everything with you, what you need during our tour. You will see the buses at 12 o'clock when you are... Where this is the palace of the, of the Prince Elector of Trier.
worry about all the The material between here, that's a mortar, and the Latin name of this mortar is opus cementitium. Do you hear the word? Cement. It's a very early form of concrete. Fire limestone, sand water, and then they put the cutter bricks inside, and that make it so strong. There's a chemical process between the fired limestone and the fired bricks, and that make it very, very strong. Nowadays we use the reinforced concrete with steel inside. Steel has a problem with rust, and here it breaks so wide. And these walls are standing 1,700 years. The building looks when it is plastered and painted. There's all of the buildings in the surrounding, the Westville Hall and all of this here. White and a little bit red by the windows. In the moment it is not very of the 19th century.
there are dirt of the sea curtain runs. They are coming to this area searching for work. And so they came here with the ability to move their team in the 